Right, so today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to install and use and troubleshoot with the Railmaster app. So first of all, uh, with the Railmaster app, I'd like to just explain what you can do with it, which is all in all just the same functions that you can do with the Railmaster. So you want to go into your Safari and you want to type in this web address, which is my apps. That's my dash apps and then ends in dot eu. Once you've entered that, you will find yourself at this page, which is the Railmaster page. Um, it might come up with that screen, it usually does. Um, to get the app, you want to click on that there and hit Add to Home Screen. Once you've hit that, it will ask you what you want to name it. Uh, just choose Real Master, then hit Return. So we go back onto there and click the app. So the app will open up and it will show you this screen. Um, at this point, most of the details are wrong as it has its set details it will already enter. So what we need to find out is the IP address and the port. So to find the IP address we'll go into start and go on the command prompt. Then we'll type in IP config and hit enter. There you can see the IP4V and you want that IP address, enter it into the iPad and that will be you with the right IP address. So that's me got the correct IP address, but nothing will happen as of yet as we need to have the correct port as well. So we'll close the command prompt and we'll go into the start menu again. From the start menu we'll go into computer and go into the system C drive or the main drive of your computer. There you want to find program files then find a railmaster folder then you want to find the Railmaster configuration file. Which is there. So as you can see there it says TCP start port and that's the number that we want to use. For me that's 80. So I'll just enter that into the iPad and then that should be all the details correct. As of yet it won't do anything because we've not got Railmaster open so we'll have to go back and open up Railmaster. So we'll close everything to clear up the desktop and then we'll double click the Railmaster icon. So at this point, Railmaster is just going to set all the points, well, all the points that you've got installed into the system. It will then connect to the internet and connect to your Elite controller. Just as a reminder, you will need to have the Railmaster software and the Elite controller to be able to use this system. So once it's turned on, we want to go back to the iPad and go in the app, at which point it will receive all the locals from the computer and it will then receive the plan. So that's it. There's the plan of our layout. Um, you can scroll around it and you can use all the points just by clicking on the symbols. To fully use this app, you will have to purchase the full version of it 
which is nine ninety nine, and I believe it's four ninety nine for recurring purchases if you want to put it on extra devices. So thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, I hope it was a great help to you, and we hope to get up more videos soon.